any YouTuber that knows about the Zarud event and has talked about it has mentioned the Pokemon-Movie.jp website that gives us the information about the Zarud event. They show it commonly in Japanese and say if they're living in the area, they are going to be able to buy tickets for you guys if you are a subscriber to their channel, and they would be more than happy to hook you guys up with those codes. However, what they don't say is you can do it yourself if you just translate the web page. So I'm going to show you how to do that today and how I got my very own Zarud ticket and can put this into my game now. So after waiting for a little while for it to come in the mail, I'm able to put that into my game today. So I'm going to do that towards the end of the video. But first, I'm going to show you how I got it. First off, we're going to be in Google Chrome. It's going to be very easy to use and very user friendly. What you're going to do is go up to the upper right hand corner where these hamburger menus are and you're going to click on it. Go down to settings and it's going to bring up your Google settings. What you want to do is come over here to the middle left of the screen and hit advanced which will bring up another drop down menu and then select languages. It's going to bring up your language preferences and right now it's saying language Japanese. We don't want that our language is English so what we're going to do is again hit the down arrow it's gonna bring up Japanese so we're gonna click on that hamburger menu for Japanese and we're going to tell it to offer to translate pages in this language and that should auto save there might ask you to relaunch it and bam it relaunches it brings up everything that was there already and you see that up there it's got English, Japanese, we want English, is auto going to set it to English. And most of it we can't read. If it's a picture, you're still not going to be able to read it. But as you can see on the top, we can now read that. And what we want to do is we want to click on this uh, picture down here, this one with Celebi and Zarud. It's going to bring up some information about being able to buy it, has a date there. But what we're going to do is scroll down to click here to purchase special advanced tickets. Go ahead and click on that. And we are not in Japan, so we can't buy them at the cinema, but we can buy them on the web slash store. Then it's gonna scroll down and give us some options of Pokemon Center Online. These guys will only ship to Japan. I tried, so don't bother with that. However, Amazon, we love Amazon. Amazon.co.jp, go ahead and click on that. It's going to, once again, open up the Japanese website and translate to English. So we'll go ahead and click that. Okay, so it's going to display this page in English for us. Theatrical version, Pocket Monsters, Coco, special feature, advanced ticket. Uh, once again, these buttons that we can click, since they are buttons and images, they are in Japanese and Google won't translate it for us because it doesn't understand pictures. So what we're going to do is come over here to the normal version, unless you want the t-shirt. By all means, get the t-shirt, but we're going to select the normal version. And we may not be able to read the buttons, but we can read pictures. So what we're looking at here is the buy now button and the add to cart. Go ahead and hit the add to cart button. Bam. We have one already in our cart. So let's go to the cart. And... We're just going to hit check out and check out like you normally would. There was a login page between there and now. We're going to blot out all of my information, but you can set your address to an American address and of course pay with an American Visa card that allows you to buy stuff online. Um, usually there's not a country discrepancy, like it won't block you for purchasing another country. However, something that will happen is Amazon will charge you a little bit more shipping and handling, even if you're a Prime member. Since you are clearing customs and importing some goods, you are going to pay a little bit more on shipping and handling. Um, so like right now, it's showing that my total for the movie ticket, it's about 12 to $8. So right now, it's showing that my total for the movie ticket is roughly around $8, $9, and then my shipping is around $12. I mean, that's not exact math because I don't know the conversion rate, but it's pretty darn close to that. So that's what you're going to be able to do to get you the code yourself. 
it's basically going to order you a movie ticket and send it straight to your house. So you don't have to go through some sketchy eBay website to get that code. It's perfectly safe through Amazon.com, uh, the Japanese website, of course, and they are a licensed retailer of these movie tickets. So I strongly suggest if you want to do that, to do it that way instead of going through a third party and maybe having a markup fee on it. So that's my spiel for how to get the ticket. Now let's go to the game and plug it into the game. All right, so now that we're out of the web and into the game and have that loaded up, we're going to just go into the mystery gift and type in the code like a normal person would. So get a mystery gift, get via code with password, paying attention to their little notice there, and let's type in this code. All right, we got the code typed in, hit start. It's gonna check the code, verifying that, searching for gifts, and jungle Celebi gift. So that's the first one. That's for Celebi, because there are two codes on this ticket. Uh, as you can see by the pictures in the website, I didn't even mention that, but Celebi is a thing. It's actually a shiny Celebi. So now we have a little purple green Celebi boy. Now we're gonna type in the second code. Alrighty, that code is now typed in, and this one is the one that's for Zarud, not Celebi. So it's gonna check it, verify it, searching for gifts, and jungle Zarud gift. So yes, we wanna receive that. Wait for the interwebs. And voila, we have Zaru in the game. 100% legit and ready to go. So let's go check out our new Pokemon. So we got a Celebi here, uh, check summary. So it looks like it's got a lucky egg. Uh, original trainer is jungle. Um, so it's shiny. And it is level 60 in a Cherish Ball, it looks like. Quirky by nature. The date was 12-21-2020, and it seems it came from a 2020 Pokemon movie. It takes plenty of siestas. So it's 12-21-2020 because my date is wrong on my Switch because I've been shiny den hunting. So that's why that's like that. And then let's check out Zarud. got leftovers also ought jungle also level 60 also a cherish ball and it knows close combat power whip swagger and snarl so if you happened to miss the window of opportunity between november 13th and november 20th to create your pokemon trainer club account and enroll your account in those email promo marketing emails to get that password sometime in December. You do have until December 25th to order one of these tickets. You can order it from amazon.co.jp and have it sent straight to your house with a little bit of tweaking of the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be giving out one of these codes on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash brasscoin. So stay tuned for that. If you want to join in on the fun, visit my channel on Twitch and see if you can enroll in that by becoming a follower there and entering in the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in another video.